Welcome to this video tutorial on the topic of the system menu. In this video, we look at the system menu and go into more detail about the submenu configuration. You can open the system menu in every phase of the Cerex software. Depending on the phase that you are currently in, either all or only specific submenus will be displayed. Right now, we are on the start screen and you tap the button on the top left to open the system menu. Now all submenus are displayed. Deactivated submenus can't be accessed. The first button we can select is the Import submenu. It provides the option of importing a case from your file system. The next active button is Connect Chat, where you can access your conversations with your partner lab. By tapping License Manager, you can activate further licenses or check the current license status, for example. On the far right, the Exit Cerec button is displayed, which closes the Cerec software. Please make sure to first save the currently open case before closing the software. By turning on the Window mode, you will exit the full screen mode of the Cerec software so that you can access your taskbar, for example. Now we take a detailed look at the submenu configuration. The configuration menu in turn consists of four submenus, which we will look at step by step. First, we start with parameters. This submenu is organized by restoration types, the articulator settings, and the preparation analysis. First of all, we choose the parameter settings for a crown. The parameters set here are used as default values for all initial proposed crown restorations. Since these are the factory settings, which are defined by the respective material manufacturer, they cannot be modified. However, you have the option of creating individual parameter profiles. To do this, tap the plus sign, which opens a new bar so that you can enter a name for your profile. This is helpful if, for example, several dentists work in the same practice and like to work with different settings. Now you can adjust the enabled parameters, such as the spacer, the proximal, occlusal, and dynamic contact strength. The settings below that are not activated can also be customized, but you do so at your own risk. You can mark the newly created profile as your favorite by clicking the asterisk icon, or you can delete it again by clicking the waste bin icon. At this point, we leave the parameter profile for crown restorations and go back one more step so that we can select the next submenu, Devices. Depending on how many devices are connected to your AC, they will be listed here and can be configured. We can also conduct a search for a new device or add a device manually. To see the procedure for adding more devices, you can watch our video tutorial on the topic, Device Management. In our case, a CEREC MCXLPP and our Prime Scan are connected. First of all, we select the milling unit, and a new window with the machine settings for the MCXL opens. Here you can retrieve the serial number and check the IP settings, or correct them if needed, as well as the advanced settings, such as enabling or disabling suction. Once again, we go back one step and choose our scanner, Prime Scan. We can also adjust different settings for our scanner, such as sound and volume, or turn the shade detection on or off. Whenever you modify a setting, you are asked at the lower edge of the screen to either confirm your entry with OK or reject it by tapping Cancel. Next, we go back two steps and look at the third submenu under Configurations, the Settings. This one is also divided into different submenus. By tapping the first option, ADA FDI Notation, you determine which odontogram should be displayed in the administration phase. The FDI odontogram is for international use, and the ADA is for the USA. When using the CEREC software, Notifications can be displayed either via tooltips or pop-up windows. You can turn these off under Notifications or reset them if needed. 
The third option concerns the hub settings. Here you can determine the settings for the server connection or check the connection status. Next, we will take a closer look at the patient database. This menu item allows you to determine where your patient data and cases will be saved. You can choose a directory for these data. For example, all data can be saved to a secure server in the practice network this way. Alternatively, you can manage patient data with the Serona Sedexis software and store cases in the database created by Sedexis. The selection of the hub can also be set in this menu. By tapping the Language option, you can define the language of your software. Next to it is the Quality Improvement button. Here you can turn your participation in our Quality Improvement program on or off. By turning on this option and providing feedback, you can contribute to the further development of the Surik software. We will look at the submenu Block Handling in more detail. Here we can determine whether we want the last selected block size to be automatically displayed or the smallest possible block size of the respective material manufacturer. To turn on the last selected block size option is helpful in case you work only with one material producer and you are focusing on single tooth restorations. We switch back to the overview and tap on the submenu Automatic Preparation Border Proposal. The five-click concept of the Serec software implies that the preparation border of the restoration is drawn automatically. If this is turned off, the preparation border for each restoration must be determined manually. We will also take a more detailed look at the last submenu, Initial Sprue Position. The advantage in setting these parameters is that the position of the sprue location for the different tooth and restoration types can be initially preset. You can decide, for example, whether the sprue position for a crown should be set on the lingual or buccal surface. Then we close the configuration, which takes us back to the start screen. Thank you very much for your attention. We would like to wish you every success when working with Serec.